This is going to be a short video showing one of the options for the soft tissue management of nail pathology. We're very much taught in the UK, certainly in UK podiatry, that the nail ingrows into the skin and we need to do something to address the nail. But sometimes the soft tissue is actually more of the problem. This young chap's about 25 years old and presented having had nail surgery from a local podiatrist and done really well. He was a little bit of an overpronator and effectively what he had was some excess hypertrophic skin on the medial sulcus and he'd had a couple of bouts of infection paronychia with this. The nail had been cut really well before so there was certainly an argument to do a revisual, revisional excuse me, partial nail avulsion but the problem was actually the soft tissue. So I thought, well, let's do something soft tissue rather than nail, rather than give him too thin a nail plate, and, and that was what we did. If we're thinking incisional nail procedures, effectively there's a pyramid going from soft tissue to partial to total to amputational procedures. And something that's it's underwritten in the lexicon of nail surgery, but the papers are certainly out there if you look for it, is just to do the soft tissue alone and actually not to do any nail or matrixectomy procedure and, and this is what this young man needed. So on top of your standard nail kit you're going to need a scalpel. This is going to be sharp dissection of the soft tissue. It certainly can be done with a, uh, a, a nail or a matrix procedure but what I want to show in this video is just uh, simply doing the soft tissue management where the soft tissue is the problem. You can also combine this as we've done in this case with a little bit of electrocautery which just helps with some post-op bleeding um, and then just standard tourniquet and uh, sterile setup. So three, two, one, scratch. Little sting, how's that feeling? Sore. One little scratch again. Don't pull a face. Mm -hmm. That's what happened to me. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Is that all right? Yeah. Yeah. All yeah. fine now. Yeah, I can't feel any pain. I think you just feel like a bit of a rubbing here and yeah, there. Yeah, that's all you should feel. Okay. So are you from Kettering then, Chris? Uh, from Corley. I was going to say, because if you're from, from Kettering, you say, I can't feel nothing. Because that's, <laughs> yeah. that's speaking Kettering. So that's just that little section of skin we've just taken out there. Yeah. Just put that in the tray. Mm -hmm. and so, Chris, I said I'd look at the nail and just check that that's all okay. Yeah. So, yeah, see the nail's nice, but just a little tiny little bit of irregularity down there. So we're just going to just slightly do that, but effectively it's the skin that's the trouble. And you've had this done before? Yeah. Yeah. I was either. Like end of junior school, start mm -hmm. of secondary school. Um, it, it was a lot worse actually. Like yeah. It all got infected. And if any, if like anything, it's almost yeah. like it's a, it's a bit of scar tissue down the side, which is why that's interesting. It's a bit thick. So when you do these first time round, so so I'll do these soft tissue techniques as a option for nail surgery, because um, you don't always need to do the nail. Uh, but you've actually got a little bit of scar tissue down there from the from the previous. But that's is that what the issue is this time. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, it's, so it's it's added to the fact you already had some sort of, um, soft tissue thickening. So down there, there's just a little bit of scar tissue that shouldn't be there. Okay. So I'm just going to take just a tiny bit more out because we don't want that to. It just fills in really, yeah. and effectively that just kind of closes up there okay so yeah a little bit down there a bit of, bit of scar tissue interesting interesting mm -hmm. okay
just seals up some of those little bits of blood vessels. Super. And that's that one done. And then just a, a light dressing on that. Okay. So this is how it looks after I finish the procedure. This is just a still photo we'll zoom in on. And you can see effectively it's really an ellipse of that hypertrophic tissue. There are lots of different techniques in the literature, crescentics, and there's the Van der Bos and the Bose, and there's a few little skin flaps, the Tweedy skin flap. Um, they're, they're all more similar than different, but effectively it's removing an amount of soft tissue. As you can see, really, the nail itself had been done really well before, just a little bit of scar tissue from the previous partial nail avulsion. But otherwise, that was all that was needed in this case. Then our patient turned back, uh, so we came back about a week later. Now you can see it's a deeper wound. You do end up with this patient a little bit of strike through and bleeding. So it's, it's a, in many ways a more aggressive wound than we would do with our normal phenol, phenol technique. But it's a neater wound. Um, it heals in by secondary intention, but you don't have that phenol burn. So it's horses for courses, really. There's a difference between that phenol burn that takes quite a few weeks to heal and this more acute graze made a little bit worse by the hyperfication that we used. And then this is the, the, the pick six weeks later. As you can see, it actually had bilateral procedures, but just because of the angle of the video camera, it really only showed the uh, the right first medial sulcus. So when I did the left, <laughs> you couldn't see it because the camera was on the right hand side of me. Never mind. Um, the right one's a little bit trickier because there was a little bit of scar tissue in the medial sulcus from the previous PNA. And that was the one that bled a little bit. But you, I think you can get the idea. Basically, you're ellipsing what was that previously hypertrophic skin. Um, so a deeper wound, in some ways a little slower to heal than a phenol. You'd think they'd heal a little bit quicker, but you get quite a deep graze. Um, but a good option. Thank you very much.